Anticipating many more emergency medical calls in the hard hit New Orleans area, the state signed a contract yesterday to beef up ambulance services. EMS is also bringing in volunteers. Mike Perlstein has that story. We truly are in a disaster right now. With As that sobering introduction, New Orleans, New Orleans EMS Director Emily Nichols explained how the city's medical front line is handling the virus outbreak, beginning with their own. As of last night at New Orleans Emergency Medical Services, we've had 94 of our employees with known exposures to COVID-19 positive patients. Of those employees, 28 have symptoms and are under quarantine. The others remain at work under emergency guidelines for essential first responders. For reinforcements, the state just announced a contract to flood the area with more paramedics. It's called an ambulance surge contract, bringing in private and public providers from less hard hit areas. As part of the state surge contract, expect to see a lot more private ambulances like this one. Twelve have been assigned to the New Orleans region, five of those to the city of New Orleans. Chief Bill Samaron explained that while 911 calls haven't yet spiked, much more time is needed to deal with patients, straining EMS resources. It's taking longer for us to be with a patient, right? So we have to get dressed out in more gear, we have to go see them, we have to spend more time with them. And then when we get to a hospital, our units are now tied up longer at a hospital trying to offload that patient. EMS also is tapping into its deep pool of volunteers, mostly retired ambulance workers. That's a sudden shift from two weeks ago when they were asked to stay away because of the elevated risk. We wanted to limit the amount of people that did not need to be on an ambulance. But now we're at a different point where we need some of that support. Mike Perlstein, Eyewitness News. To try and limit the risk to ambulance workers, they're required to respond to all calls wearing masks, gloves, and other protective gear. They're also placing masks on all patients except for those needing life-saving measures such as CPR.